As the way to Sharon Washington, uh, director of the National Writing Project, and I am so pleased to have been here for the last two days. What an amazing, extraordinary, sort of co-created uh, community learning. Uh, it started yesterday with the uh, Greenwood Tour, uh, as well as the Open Arms Project uh, Tour, and then I went to a discussion um, looking at sort of reframing the Tulsa Race Riots. And one of the things that came out of the, for me, for the Greenwood Tour and ending at Reconciliation Park um, was just the wonderful opportunity to have to write in a really beautiful place. Um, and so I'm going to read you something and then... So uh, this is sort of what came up when I was sort of going through. I heard about Greenwood, uh, but I didn't know many details about Greenwood. And I, it was my first time um, certainly going to the Greenwood Community Center, Cultural Center, as well as getting to walk um, along Black Wall Street. This is entitled Recognition. Recognition, that familiar tightening. Recognition of my jaw, shoulders, and gut. Recognition, I would rather that this familiar tightening was a stranger. Recognition, an unmet reaction to the experience of injustice lived and learned through the retelling. Recognition, the familiar tightening. Recognition can be a precursor for release. Recognition for grace. Recognition for change. And that's actually how I really see the Urban Science Network Conference, is that this really is a conference that's focused on social change, which is something that is truly near and dear to my heart. Um, when I was still teaching the course that I taught for 11 years, twice a year was always on issues of social justice education. Um, and it's something that I really miss not being able to do today. Um, but I'm so thrilled and comforted and energized when I get to be around people I know who are still doing that every day in your classrooms, helping your students um, really learn more about justice and fairness and equity and what we're doing through education to make more things possible. Um, and so when I think about this conference, whether it's the pre-conference sessions, the wonderful, absolutely looking keynote that we had, um, there you are, yes. <laughs> the wonderful keynote that we had, the concurrent sessions, I was so glad that I pushed myself to go to something that would make me uncomfortable, like math. Mm. <laughs> <So> <laughs> And that, that was just really wonderful to sort of think about math and literacy and writing and math. And just the fellowship that we all get to have when we come together, whether it be the evening social or the, uh, the meals that we get to eat together. And I mean, everything was absolutely, absolutely perfect. And so certainly um, a huge uh, thanks and gratitude to everybody in the planning committee, but particularly for Dwayne Dickens mm -hmm. and Rick Gildersleeve. And <laughs> We have certainly experienced a lot of challenges in this last year, um, specifically in terms of the challenges around funding and what that has meant, uh, not only for the network and the local sites, but also um, for the national office and the staff, and the staff that we had to say goodbye to. Um, I know that it has been a year filled with a lot of um, some pain. Um, that has been very heartfelt. Um, but it's also been a time where we've come together and realized that, you know, as a network, NWP is not going anywhere. Um, it was really good. I mean, this is only my uh, beginning of my fifth year with the National Riot Project. And it's really good for me to hear and learn that the network existed prior to federal funding. And the network will exist whether we have federal funding or not. We might have to, we're, we are figuring out new ways about how to make that happen. Um, and I know that the ideas that are generated at local sites, things that you're doing well with the fact that you're able to share that information between sites is so critical. And I know that, you know, myself, the other staff in the national office, as well as the board of directors, we are really thinking about doing some things differently. The board is so engaged in trying to figure out how do we get more visibility for the network, how do we get uh, more resources, new partners, 
Um, they're fundraising, they're going on fundraising, you know, uh, visits and cultivation with me. I'm going into offices that I never thought that I would be going into. And I can tell you it was a surreal experience to be in J.P. Morgan Chase in the morning and then in Occupy Wall Street in the afternoon. <laughs> it was very surreal, you know. Um, but the board member who was going with me, who had made some of these connections, um, is absolutely committed to social justice herself. And so she's like, you know, after we do this, do you mind if we go down to Occupy Wall Street? And I said, no, let's go. Mm -hmm. You know, so I know that the board is engaged. We have another board member who is opening up her home uh, and inviting um, many of her well-to-do, well-heeled individuals uh, to, um, you know, see what they can bring to bear.